In this video, I'm going to show you the worst Go copies game. of Brookhaven, completely poorly made copies, games made just to steal Robux, and even a totally flooded version of Brookhaven. Well, the first Brookhaven copy we're going to play is called Block Heaven. I think it's going to be a mix of Roblox and Brookhaven because there are a lot of random items there. Even though the reviews for this game are pretty bad, there are still 1,300 people playing it, and over 1 million have already visited this game. So, at least, there must be something interesting inside. As as soon as we enter the game, you can see it looks a lot like the regular Brookhaven. I even got confused and thought I had entered the wrong game, but no, it's really the copy of Brookhaven. Even though it's a convincing copy, there are some clear signs that it's just a cheap knockoff. The first thing I noticed was the HUD, which is the interface with icons. But here, we only have the shop button, which has overpriced Robux items. There's also character customization, which takes us to another dimension to change clothes. You can even pick some wild skin colors and random accessories, but they're pretty generic, like these random clothes or a bunch of cheap Dominus knockoffs. The only thing that slightly resembles Brookhaven is the car option, which is exactly the same button, but in a white square. When you click it, you get this ugly menu with various car names like this McLaren Spider. Honestly, it's a pretty cool car I'd love to have in Brookhaven, and it's really fast. Let's rev it up! Okay, almost crashed into the store. Someone is even glitching, spawning a bunch of McLarens or Ferraris, whatever. But like I said, this car is really fast, hitting almost 200 per hour. Perfect for some wild stunts. Now, about the houses in this fake Brookhaven, there are some interesting choices. One that stood out to me was this brick house. It looks super realistic, but it's not really a house. It's more like a workshop or something. There are also some small white houses that look a bit like the ones in Brookhaven, but they're much smaller and kind of badly made inside. This one, for example, is just a square, and you can't even get in through the door because it doesn't work. On the plus side, you can put a McDonald's as your house, and it looks just like a real McDonald's inside. Another thing that caught my eye was a little amusement park up on the hill, but it's super glitchy and laggy. No way I'm getting on that ride. There's also another ride called Choss that just spins around really slowly and does nothing else. Kind of like a kid's ride, but still fun in a weird way. And that's just the first bizarre Brookhaven copy I'm showing you today. Our next copy is called Brookhaven Minecraft, with even worse reviews than the last game and far fewer players so it's pretty much hidden from everyone. As soon as you enter, you're like, wait, what is happening here? Okay, we're literally in Minecraft. I thought this was supposed to be Brookhaven, but all right. It looks exactly like Minecraft. It even has the E key for inventory, but it has zero to do with Brookhaven. There's a girl building a little house. Maybe she's the founder of Brookhaven? Who knows? Other than that, you'd really have to build the whole city from scratch. And honestly, I'm not in the mood to play Minecraft inside Roblox. Speaking of Minecraft, if you love Minecraft, hit that like button. But if you prefer Roblox, make sure to subscribe. If you watch Brookhaven videos, you probably know Nando. Yes, I'm talking about this guy right here. What's up? Our next Brookhaven copy is called Nando Raven, which has nothing to do with him. You can see it wasn't created by him, but it has already had almost 10 million visits. So there must be something interesting in this game to explore. Entering Nando Raven, you can see that this game has nothing to do with Brookhaven, with Nando, or with anything that makes sense. In the lobby, there's this morph shop selling random items from horror games, like Blue from Rainbow Friends, and even Huggy Wuggy in the back. There are also options for very generic items, like the speed coil or even this really ugly carpet. And of course, there couldn't be a lack of those basic hobbies where you just touch something and die, and you have to make it to the end. And of course, there are also ads trying to get you to spend Robux for nothing, so we're going to have to move on to another copy that makes more sense. The next game is Flooding Brookhaven, which seems to be a flooded Brookhaven or something something like that. And of course, entering this game, we have so much stuff on our screen, so many buttons that I honestly don't know what they are for, and we're in Brookhaven. Well, it doesn't look like it. Oh wait, yes, we are. Look how crazy it is. You can go underwater here, and there's even a sea monster, but apparently, it doesn't move. Well, at least, unlike the other games, this one delivers what it promises, right? The whole game is flooded. You can see Brookhaven is completely underwater, and they even used the old version of Brookhaven. You can see this horrible floor they used in the lobby back in the day, and even the old tutorial screen explaining how to get a house, how to speed up the car, etc. One interesting thing about these old Brookhaven maps is that we can go to places that don't exist anymore, like this old version of the Brookhaven Hospital. When you enter this hospital, you'll see it's very different from the current version of Brookhaven. In the current version, we even have a pharmacy at the entrance, right? Look how crazy it is! There are a lot of medicines over there, some pills for us to take, but in the old version of Brookhaven, 
11. There was no pharmacy here. It was completely empty. Besides that, entering here, we can see the medical records of the patients, where we could see the diseases they had or something like that. In the current version of Brookhaven, if you come here, these shelves are completely closed. You can't see what's inside. Not even with the camera in Brookhaven because it's really just a solid thing with nothing inside. I know this is not that important, but it's really interesting to see what Brookhaven was like before it became the game we play today. The last version of Brookhaven I'm going to show you is called Map A. This game has this name because it's an Arabic copy of Brookhaven that has more than 99 million visits. Can you imagine 99 million people playing a copy of Brookhaven? Actually, that's quite impressive, and we need to enter this game to see what it's like. Okay, entering the Arabic Brookhaven, you can see there are update notes on the side saying they added a new car, a new building, and also a bunch of other clothes. And of course, everything I just said is a lie because I can't read Arabic, obviously. But you can see it's a game that's kind of different from Brookhaven, but at the same time very similar. Here we have the lobby with a fountain similar to Brookhaven's, with some palm trees on top, and also some different colors here in the lobby, like this neon thing that hurts your eyes. Another thing that caught my attention is that the Brookhaven Mart turned into Fred's Cafe here, and inside we have... Wait, is this the Brookhaven Hospital? No, it's not! Well, it doesn't matter much. We have a skeleton here, and on the TV, we can watch different types of movies that don't exist in Brookhaven, like this No Signal, which is a great movie, I recommend it. And here on this side, we have the area to get our coffee and stuff. But unfortunately, this place is quite empty, really boring, and weird. Another thing that couldn't be missing is, clearly, the premium items, right? We have here some different things to buy. One of them is Mod, which, I don't know how to read this, so I'm not going to click it to waste my Robux. But you can see there are premium items that I can click here, and it will have a little crown icon or something. One of these items here even looks like an Oni and has premium written on it, see? But honestly, there's no need to spend on that because the normal cars here are already really cool, like this big blue tractor here. And I really don't remember if there is a tractor in regular Brookhaven, but look at the speed of this one. Man, it even feels like a racing car. One cool thing here is that we also have the option to pick houses, just like in regular Brookhaven. But the houses here are kind of weird, like this yellow thing that I don't even know what it's supposed to be. But of course, we have some cool houses, like this blue one here that I'm going to place. Well, this house really looks like one that exists in Brookhaven today, but I'm not sure if it's exactly like this. And I knew I wasn't crazy. I entered regular Brookhaven, and you can see that this house here is basically the same house that is in the Arabic version. Man, it's exactly the same, both outside and inside. Yes, there are houses here that are just like the ones in normal Brookhaven, but there are some differences, like this fountain here in the backyard, which is really cool. And of course, there are many other items in this game, but I can't show you everything. What I can show you is that there are emotes here too, and they are the same emotes as in regular Brookhaven, actually, and I'm not even sure if you could use these same emotes here. Another cool thing here is the cars, so you can see that there are several free cars that are really nice, and also some premium cars that are way cooler than the ones in Brookhaven, to be honest. But have you played any of these copies that I played in this video? And if you love Brookhaven, I'm sure you'll enjoy the videos popping up around my face. Thanks a lot, and see you later!